Now we want to change the energy a little bit. And um, I would like to introduce you to something that's very satire, pure Virginia satire, and which is usually not, and I have the permission to do that, which is usually not in the curriculum of um, the NLP trainings. And um, it's one of her core pieces, and it's the, what she calls the coping stances. Coping stances. Yeah, it's called the coping stances. And I don't know if I did write it down. It is not in the book. This will be not in the book, so pay attention. <coughs> now. You better pay attention now. Because this, be, this could be crucial in your life. And then maybe you missed the opportunity. So what Virginia did um, notice as she was working with thousands of thousands of people all over the world was that when people are experiencing stress, when people are feeling threatened, if something happens, and we, we, you know, we played a little bit about with that idea yesterday, if something um, happens that you feel threatened, that there is a reaction that she observed over and over and over again um, how people were reacting to that threat. And it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference, is it, it, was it meant to be a threat or do you just experience it as, as a threat? Whenever you feel threatened, there are certain reactions that come into place. Um, when you think in terms of neuroscience or, or, or of the autonomy of your, your brain, you have three brains. You have your neocortex, you have your limbic, your mammal system, which is connected to your limbic system, and then you also have your reptile um, brain part, which is the oldest part. So when we think in, in terms of threats and when we think in terms of reaction, we're talking about those, those three different reactions that we get, which is, do you know, fight, fight. Huh. Huh. <laughs> something like that. W what's the other one? Fight. Fight. And then? Freeze. Freeze. And then actually, you know, in, in, in some other theories, in some other books, you, you also find fall asleep, pass out, the complete numb state. But usually if you go into those three areas, you usually find fight, which is, and, and they come in the sequence. The first one is it's still okay to fight. So you make a little check in size, muscles, and all those things. And like, maybe it's worth the fight. And then you start to fight. And you think, oh, maybe you're a little bit too big for me. Maybe you're a little bit too tall for me. And like, and you can start to do this. And then if you, you feel the breath in your neck coming at you, then it's the, it's the perfect time to say, I better not move. So it's this old last possibility where it's like, well, tiger, really, I'm, I'm already dead. Really, do, do you want to nibble on me? I mean, that's just, uh, that's... That's wrong for you. I mean, you, you're a strong tiger, and I'm almost dead. Do you really want to really pick on me? I don't think so. So that's like the last thing. When you feel really, really threatened, then you usually go into a freeze mode. That. You, you play dead, basically. Um, and um, you can bring those four stances that I will introduce to you and, and connect them, link them to those um, three programs. Those are all neuro-linguistic neuro programs, if you like, which, which help you to secure that you survive. So all these stances are great stances because they, they tell you, I really want to live. I really want to survive. Whenever you feel threatened, those are the four stances that you pick um, because the message underneath is, I really want to live. And I do anything to continue to live. 
So that's a little bit to give you some of the background. And then um, one of the um, ingredients of Satir's work, she liked to pick pieces from drama, from psychodrama, to exaggerate things, um, to help people have a way of looking at things from a little bit of a distance. So everything you find now is an exaggeration, uh, exaggeration of what happens in real life. And it's meant to be like that so that we can play into the extreme a little bit with it. And for that reason, I would like to introduce, uh, maybe have four people that can help me. I need four people. Okay, one. Okay, great. Wonderful, wonderful. So we, okay, awesome, thanks. Um, so the first dance is um, what she called um, the blaming stance. And are you, are you okay with, to try out that stance? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is I, I show it to you, I model it to you, and then, and then you go into that stance. So the first one is um, putting your feet a little bit uh, out this way. And then you wanna put your hand in, a, in your hips like this. And then you have a pointy finger. Right. So it's, it's that movement of, you know, I'm, I'm moving towards that direction. It's like, it is all your fault. Mm -hmm. No, it's your fault, and it's your fault, and it's your fault. So that's the blamer. Right? Okay. And maybe you can, you know, just notice for yourself, that if, the, if do I know anybody? Um, do I recognize this stance or maybe variations of that in, in the blaming sense in a, in a situation of threat? It's your fault. It's not mine, really. It's yours. Okay. Okay. So you, you keep that one, and, and you can relax now, for now. So let's, <laughs> let's relax it so, so enjoy the difference. Enjoy the difference between that and, and, and letting go. And we come back to that. So remember, this is your, um, it's, I'm not saying that this is your preferred. This is just for modeling, mm -hmm. right? Um, so no, don't get confused that I'm saying this is yours, no, just for now. Um, so there is a second one, and that's usually the flip side of it, which is placating. And again, it's not yours, sure. but I'm just um, asking you to model that for, for now. So this one is, um, you put yourself on your, are you okay with your knees? Yep. Are those fine? Good. So you're on your knee, you put your hand to your heart. Huh. Huh. And then you swing up your arm like this. And there's a variation where you open your mouth and whatever falls in your mouth, it drops in. Feed me. <laughs> like that. So that, that, that would be the placator. That's what she called the placator. And the, if I would put words in your mouth, it's, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I mean, really, I, sh I shouldn't even exist. Uh, no, I'm saying that. You don't need to say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, really, I have, you're so right. So, th so this is the placator. And it can be somebody, you know, also be looking down. Can be looking up to search and like feed, like a little bird feeding in. Feed me, feed me. So there are variations of that too. Oh, huh. placator. Okay, maybe you can enjoy the relaxation of letting go of that position. It's, it's, a, it's another position in the interest of surviving. I feel threatened and I react into, oh my God, th th it's my fault, it's my fault. And I just move into that. So it's again a way of uh, interest of surviving. And maybe we can put you together. So what usually happens is you can go in the ba blaming stance and face him and then you go into the flip side of it. So you, he blames, and then this is the flip side of it. This is usually what the response is to it. And another variation, you can come a little bit closer maybe, and then you can pat him on his head. 
<laughs> this is what's called care. I care for you. I really love you. I really care for you. This is what it can look like. <laughs> OK. And then and, and, and that's another way. This is what we also call education. This is what education looks like sometimes. So there are interesting variations of it. And I will ask you later to, to go back and then kind of sense what happens for you there. But just, just so you know those positions. Now I have a beautiful one. And again, it's not you. You're just modeling something interesting. Um, so this one is called what she calls super reasonable. Um, it, it's sometimes also called computer like an IT computer, mm. has nothing to do with you. Um, so it's, it's uh, you're, you're locking your knees. And, and so your legs are really tight mm. and you're putting your arms together and, and your, your, you know, your spine is, uh, is locked to, is really straight up. And so this is about putting numbers together, putting data together, putting the facts together. Let's look at what's really important here. Hmm. And, and just get, you know, get a sense of that position. I do this a lot. <laughs> and this is also in the interest of surviving. There are less feelings here, and the, but there's a lot of overview. Like, okay, let's look at these things, data, information. This is a lot what our business world looks like today. So this is actually something we point out as something we want to see, but it's also a reactive stance. This is not where we can connect. But it looks like we really calm down and we really have it under control and all those things. Um, so that's a really tricky one. Okay, so you can let go, you can relax that, let it go. Now we come to the flip side of it. That's a really interesting one. Um, this one is called irrelevant or distractor. So this one is, um, and a lot of times, uh, a lot of people think, well, that, that's the favorite one. <laughs> so you got the bonus <laughs> one. <laughs> so Julia got, got, got the bonus one. So here you put your knees together to the middle and you're bouncing around, like you, you kind of do like the bouncy. Like, oh, I love your hair. Where did you get that shirt? Oh my God, those shoes are amazing. I didn't see them before. So you go like all over the place and you're distracting. You're distracting like that. Right, exactly. So this is like your, your arms are in all directions and your knees are put together. It's like, wow, hey. Okay, so that's, that's the distractor. Okay. <laughs> it's not a bad one, is it? One. Yeah, okay. Um, so, um, I guess what we're going to do is, uh, one, I would like to, s to show you once the flip side, and then I want you to have a chance to play with it too. It's nice to see it once so that you get an idea about what the stances are like, but then it's also nice to take them on and kind of feel for yourself what's happening, what's going on. So let's put those together again. So we have the blamer. And we can blame, yeah. and you go back. Okay. Right. And just kind of take in, just notice what happens for you, what you notice in that stance, what you think about yourself, what do you think about the other person in that stance, how do you feel, how do you feel about yourself, how do you feel about the other person, how do you feel about the relationship, just notice, just be aware of all the thoughts of your behavior and all the feelings that come with it. And also notice how much of a connection is there, how much you can see the other. Just take inventory, just take all this information for now. Okay. Um, so I wonder, what would you like to do next? 
Is something you would like to do? A move light or talk in or mm -hmm. anything? Yeah, if you, if you could switch your position, what would you like to do? Um, I'd, look, I'd like to look up. To look up? Yeah. Okay. Um, look in the eye. Okay. Yeah. How about if you stand up? What happens a lot of times, what you find is if I'm here long enough, if I'm doing this long enough, then I want to step, stand on my, and point back. Okay. That's something you would like to do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. If they are friends, if they, have a, if they have a relationship, what can happen next is that maybe he goes down and says, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. So maybe you, c so then it becomes a dance. And then maybe he feels funny about it and maybe stands to the side and says, oh, could do that too. Or he could stand to the side and say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. And that maybe something changes. Okay. Or you could also How does that feel? It feels um, reassuring. Reassuring? Yes. Are yeah. you comfortable in your body, though? Um, no, not no. at all. Right. It feels reassuring, but there's still constraints in his body, obviously. So there's, there would be a need for him to stand up, too, right, at some point. OK. So let's go back to the very first one, just to the very first one. And just take in what you, you know, how you, what you think, what you feel like. And then when you feel ready, you can both kind of release your position and just you can start to stand up. And you can bring your hand down and just take a nice breath. You know, release your arms and your shoulders. And then if it fits for you, you can say, I, I just want to be accepted. I just want to be accepted. I just want to be accepted. And then you can do whatever you feel is good to do. <laughs> I accept you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, great, great. So, so let, let, thank you. So let's do something with these guys, too. Let's bring those, that's a flip side too. A lot of times you find a super reasonable, um, a lot of times you find a child acting out. You know, cry, trying to get attention. Like, and there's somebody right here, and maybe one, and another pair, you know, if the pair is, maybe one is blaming and another is um, super reasonable, you, you might find a child acting out and, and trying to pull for attention. So let's bring those two together. Um, so you have the super reasonable, and, and you get, yeah, just bring that into connection. Love your t-shirt, wow, where did you get it? And you can move around, you know, you can go to the back, whatever, whatever you want to do. And you just kind of stay in that. Where did you get your shoes? <laughs> and just notice, just notice what happens for you. Notice your feelings, your thoughts. Watch. Notice what you would like to do, but you don't do because you learned it's not okay to do that. Just, just, just be aware of that. You're not paying me any attention. <laughs> okay. Maybe if she's done that long enough, he might be tempted to do this. Stop it now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe, right? No. Anybody in there? <laughs> I don't want to say you want to? Okay, you could change. Me. Maybe you could change to blame, to that, and then maybe, and then maybe she feels like, okay, I'm placating. Now you can go down. Like I'm sorry. That was really different. I feel really, really bad. I feel yeah. Like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Now he maybe, yeah, maybe he goes down and says, I'm sorry too. <laughs> no, I'm sorry too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so let's release that dynamic and you can just, you know, put yourself on your feet and just, you know, gently 
um, connect to yourself and take a breath and release your shoulders, relax your hands and your arms. And just kind of put yourself in your own shoes and your own feet and, and then from that space notice the other. And whenever you feel connected to yourself, you can just let your partner know, I only want to be accepted, I only want to be loved. Whatever feels true to you, there are no words that you don't want to swallow. If, if you can speak it loud, you can also just internally say that but in a way that you release it to your partner. You don't actually have to say the words, I'm sorry. I really want to be accepted. And you can just, you know, sense them. You can just sense them and send them internally. Just, just be with that, that's all. Nothing you need to do. Just be with that. Yeah, I'm processing that. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't got to the surface yet. <laughs> it's still mixing in the pot. <laughs> oh, okay. So maybe you just want to take a little moment to put yourself really on your feet and relax your shoulders a little bit and relax your hands and your arms. And, and yeah, allow a little swing, allow a little bit of movement so that you feel and you can settle in your legs a little bit so that the knees are not locked open, right? And just notice, just notice the sense, I only want to be connected, I only want to be accepted. I feel like I want to say, um it's, it was only because I care. That's great. Say the words that come to you. Beautiful. Just I really care. I really Thank care. You. Wonderful. I really felt that. You really felt mm -hmm. that. It's good to know. And then you can do whatever feels good to do to close. <laughs> oh, okay. I would like to hug, but I can't. Uh, yeah. Uh, so maybe there is an, a different... <laughs> yeah, like with a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. So bring that to a close and great. Okay, thank you. Thank you for thank you. that. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering what, what, what happened for you in the blaming position? How much could you see of the other? Um, so I felt very very important. Yeah. And I, I felt like Powerful, it was important. All about me. And that was reinforced by the fact that my hand was covering most of Andrew, so I could see more of my arm than I could have hit. Yes. So that, that just increased my, my sort yeah. of, um, or it reinforced my position. Yes. Um, Power, importance. But I don't know if it's because in my life I've been exposed to a lot of blamers, but I, I actually felt quite almost disgusted with myself. Mm. Like, even though. It, that was my stance, and I was holding strong. That ultimately, it felt really uh -huh. good. So that there was also this feeling. It feels powerful. It feels strong. But there's also that sense in, in my belly area that I feel too. Yeah. yeah. You hear that a lot, by the way. You know, no matter what the circumstances are. Yeah. How how was the stance for you? Um, I felt a strange sense of guilt, like I've done something. And, guilt. Um, looking down, you kind of um, did that drop down when you go into yourself. Yes. And question, um, you know, what's what's going on? Yeah. I felt, um, felt kind of a strange position to be in because I know I hadn't done anything, but still all these kind of um, dark feelings came in rather than, and I think that whole, my shoulders dark, Yeah, together. dark exactly. feelings. So there's a lot of feelings, uncomfortable feelings that came in too. Yeah. Was there something you wanted to do but didn't do? Um, no, it felt... It just felt like I wanted to get up and... When I want to get when, up. When I did get up, it was that yeah. kind of relief. Right. And, um, yeah, just Great. kind of wet my shoulders almost. Right. What you actually find a lot of times is what happens when you're in this position. You do that behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> so the, there's a, a, a variation of blaming, like a secret 
which is, you know, in, in psychology terms, you would also call this, like, and, you know, like, and what's it called when you put your aggression into yourself? Into, yes. So that, that, that could be a variation of that. If I can't show it, but it's like, it's there too. Hmm. I will say that when Andrew stood up and started pointing back at me, the, the righteous feeling that I had turned to aggression. Yes. So it was like, you know, I, w I wanted to... <laughs> yeah, get up! <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. You hear that a lot, too. So that's interesting. Yeah. What, what happened for you, Luca? Yeah, well, um, the big hit, as, as, as I started to point, I mean, as Judy went down, and she's got this, the, uh, she has this really deep, like, soft puppy eyes like, mm. killed me and I just felt like I just just oh mm -hmm. you know I've just I've been done I've just been yeah. you know <laughs> I've just been taken all the way down yeah a real sense of like, oh, yeah. You know, yeah what have I done I feel so yeah <laughs> yeah you know, really sense of um, right I did something an injustice of some right. sort and the interesting part is you, you're making this movement. This looks pretty solid when you see somebody standing like this this is actually this looks pretty solid um, but maybe you can demonstrate it. If I put myself like here, push me just a little. I'm easily getting off balance. Those are all off balance positions. As much as this looks really, really solid, because I'm so tense here, I easily get off balance. It's different in the other position. And, and you were showing that nicely, like, whoa, she's just looking at me and I'm already feeling this way. And how was yours? I find it really distracting, distracting you. <laughs> 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 wanted to uh, get you to look at me. And I, want, I felt like a little child again. I wanted to tug your arm. Yes. I wanted to take you out yes. of this position and tug your arm and say, yes. you know, pay me yeah. attention, look at me. Look at me, look at me. Look at me. Yes. yes. Look, at, yeah. look at me. Yeah. Um, and then, but when when I was down here, it felt really. Um, oh, it's just like this big power on top. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I've really done it now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Taking it too far. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> let's let's bring it back to the group and uh, let's try together. Thank you very much. Um, so what I would like you to do is um, get um, together in a pair and um, get yourself in the stance. Really physically go into the blamer first. So both of you, you would blame and blame. So that you just try it on once. Um, because what I would like you, now you had a, a view from the outside. It's also nice to take it on and maybe I will guide you to so that you can exaggerate it a little bit and just be with it and have a, a way of feeling inside of you what, what happens. It's, a, it's taken inventory, it's taken just for interest. We all know these. Did you, did you notice some that you recognize for yourself or maybe seen other people do that? Maybe your neighbors or other people you might know from a distance or closer. Yeah, probably did. Okay, let's, um, let's do that. Let's get in pairs. And um, then you take on physically um, those four stances so that you have that sequence. And, and, and really allow yourself to get into a stance and feel it and just really notice what is it that I'm, I want to do but I really don't do for good reasons. What is it that I'm thinking, I'm feeling? Um, just to, to notice that and, and just take it on for now. Can we, can we stay in the group here for, for this exercise so that I can um, give you some ideas?